What's up, everybody, guys? Welcome back to Miyamoto's tutorial. I'm gonna talk about and show how to use DMX Fire and customize it for realis realistic flame and also smoke. One guy requested me about the DMX smoke, so I'm here for you guys. If you have any requests, uh, don't hesitate to leave your comment. So, uh, just let you know, uh, this video is a continuation of this video. So I strongly recommend that you watch this one first to set up DMX and then come back to uh, come back to this video uh, deep in your understanding. It's a short content of about 10 minutes or something, so it's not a big deal, right? Okay, so not, now uh, I assume you already set up the DMX. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna uh, add the new uh, map level and the name is a pilot uh, map uh, let's go to there okay so uh, if you remember uh, the location of the DMX lights so let's go to their uh, engine folder and the plugins so if I'm gonna open up and if you see there probably yes DMX uh, fixture content uh, if you don't see the deal this DMX fixtures content uh, you miss something like uh, you uh, forgot to uh, enable the plugins like a DMX fixture or something. So I already talked about uh, these things about the last video. So now I know. Now you know. You need to go back to there. Okay. And I can see that what pile of folder, and I'm gonna click on it. And they have a pile of module. So I'm gonna drag and drop here, and I'm gonna change the location. Yes, this is a pilot. I need to add the uh, pilot fixture. So I'm gonna open that, open the DMX and the interactive DMX fixture. And I'm gonna uh, make the not another fixture type. So I'm gonna add the new fixture type, and the name is pilot. Pilot. And I'm gonna add the, add the mode. And the pilot has a uh, two attribute. So I see uh, this uh, blueprint. So you can see the start and the stop and the first one. So these two things uh, is the attribute uh, of the pile module. So I'm gonna add the function and then let's see the mode. I think the first one is a burst. So start and stop. So I'm gonna search the uh, mode start uh, the function that is a uh, burst. Okay. And let's go to the fixture type. No, fixture patch. And I'm gonna add the new one so i'm gonna add the fixture and the fixture type is uh, not moving yet it's pilot and i'm gonna add the, add the fixture and uh, i'm gonna move it to here okay now i can add the uh, uh, pilot fixture here have uh, attribute on the fixture here and i'm gonna save it and uh, i'm gonna select the uh, bp pilot module and uh, go to the dmx uh, component and i can uh, the uh, fixture and the the fixture is a pilot build. So uh, I'm gonna open the control console and uh, I'm gonna select the interactive DMX fixture and I can see the pilot 000 that we already have and I'm gonna select it. So let's uh, click on the send DMX. So let's uh, move up the mode pass uh, third. So now see uh, this is a, a default like a, a pilot module. Uh, in your UEFI. So, and the mode start is uh, just, uh, it's just like a switching on off, on, on off. And the burst is uh, like just this, it's one shot. Okay, it's already cool, but uh, I want to customize uh, this uh, panel module for more like a realistic fire. So, to do that, uh, we need to change the uh, Niagara system in the here. And also, if you open the uh, this module, uh, you can see the here by burst of VFX. So this is uh, like for the burst. So if I change the uh, D, these like a two uh, Niagara, uh, we can make the custom uh, pyro module. Okay. Uh, I now I need to need asset. So if I search the uh, fire. And click on the free, and this asset is really good. So let's 
uh, click on the M5 VFX volume 2 and then like you need to uh, install no like uh, download this asset and I'm gonna add the project so I'm gonna add the, uh, my project so let's back to the real engine so if you see the uh, content content browser uh, you can see that this asset okay if you go to the Niagara and the reference and so uh, I'm gonna use uh, this uh, asset so I'm gonna copy I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna add the new folder uh, FX and I'm gonna paste it here in bonfire so let's see the uh, this Niagara module yeah I like this one so cool right so uh, I'm gonna copy, uh, I'm almost like a copy like uh, this module. So, but I, I'm gonna uh, uh, make the new Niagara system. So, I'm gonna add the new Niagara uh, copy empty. And the name is NS. I'm gonna call it uh, Niagara system and NS uh, real pyro. And then I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna add the emitter and select the empty. And I'm gonna uh, copy the spawn rate and paste it here and also uh, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna copy the sprite alignment initialize vertical at the velocity and then scale okay and uh, paste it uh, under the initialize part and the first initialize particle that I don't need it so I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna move it the uh, initialize particle on top of the uh, particle spawn and also I'm gonna Select the sprite size, color, like this one, the copy, and then paste it under the particle state. And the uh, last one is a sprite blender. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here. And I'm gonna uh, delete this. Okay, now it's really good. So I'm gonna change it uh, for the more like a pilot module, like a, the bust, for the bust. So I'm gonna modify uh, this too. So, and then. Uh, first of all, it's a really important step. So if you see that uh, this uh, pilot module's uh, Niagara system, I'm gonna open up. So they have uh, uh, this two uh, user parameter versus a density scale, and the second one is a velocity scale. So density scale is used uh, in the uh, spawn rate. So they uh, change the the number of the uh, particle. And the velocity scale is uh, used by here and here. So this is their uh, first velocity. So they change their, their uh, literally uh, velocity scale. So I'm gonna add these two uh, user parameters. So I'm gonna add the here and then I'm gonna add the float uh, then the scale. And then I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna add a new float uh the velocity scale so default value is one and one so uh spawn light uh in the spawn light i'm gonna add the multiply mint no multiply flow and then uh this one is at one thousand and then i'm gonna add the density scale to b okay so next one is uh add the velocity so i'm gonna change i'm gonna change the here minus 20 and the maximum minus 20 and minimum is minus and the maximum is uh minimum is 100 and uh, for and i'm gonna add the velocity scale to here so let's go to the scale slide size i'm gonna change the scale size so at the zero uh i'm gonna uh type the one at the one second so i'm gonna at the i'm gonna type the five okay cool so last one i'm gonna add the gravity force and i'm gonna add the curve the from and uh so i'm gonna uh, click on the y and z like this button so now i can select the only uh and then zero is z so now i'm gonna set the y and z. and now i'm gonna select the z so z is a little bit different so zero at the zero so i'm gonna add at the one so i'm gonna at the minus 200 Okay, now it's more ready. Okay, that's it. So, uh, I'm gonna uh, duplicate uh, this Niagara uh, real file. So, I'm gonna uh, click on the Ctrl D. So, and then this is for burst. And this copy. I'm gonna open up. 
And then now I'm gonna change the here system state and the loop behavior is once and the loop duration is 1.3. Okay, that's it. So uh, let's back to the uh, uh, map. But before going to map, I'm gonna go to the PP Pro module. Uh, let's uh, be a public in the burst of VFX and the compile, save it. So you can see the like a burst of VFX here. So I'm gonna uh, uh, duplicate this uh, module. So I'm gonna select the BP Pilot module and I'm gonna move it. And I'm gonna change the uh, this naive effect, CS Stream VFX. So I'm gonna select the NS Real Pilot, not to burst. So I'm gonna uh, apply this one. And also uh, I'm gonna select the burst VFX. So I'm gonna select this and select it. Okay, now save it. So just in case, I'm gonna compile it. So I'm gonna uh, select the control control console. So let's see how it's work. Yes, cool. That's so cool, right? Also versus work. Okay, that's nice. Okay, uh, next uh, I'm gonna uh, make the smoke. Let's go to the asset file. So I'm gonna use the uh, uh, Niagara, the specific Niagara uh, from the same asset that really useful asset right so that's why um, i use it and it's for free <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cool so i'm gonna go to the niagara uh, reference and the smoke so for me i searched the all of them and so this one two six ns smoke uh ns smoke three uh this is a really good one so i'm gonna copy it and paste it here and save it and i'm gonna open and also i'm gonna uh add uh, now you got this. I'm gonna call it NS uh, smoke. So I'm gonna open this one. So uh, now I'm gonna uh, copy that this one. Phone light in the copy. And do the same thing here. So I'm gonna add the, uh, add the emitter and the empty. So under the emitter state, I'm gonna paste the now spawn array. And now is a spawn. Uh, particle spawn. I'm gonna select the acceleration, uh, this one, this one, uh, not shape location. I'm gonna select the one and the copy. I'm gonna uh, paste it under the initialized protocol. And this initialized protocol that I don't need, so I'm gonna delete this one. And then uh, next, so I'm gonna select the slight rotation, right? This one, this one, this one, this one. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it under the pulse state. And finally, I'm gonna select the flight renderer, copy it, and paste it. And this flight renderer, that I don't need this one, so I'm gonna delete it. Okay, it's already cool. So, uh, also, I'm gonna change the edit. I'm gonna modify uh, the parameters a little bit. So, the first one is the uh, uh, acceleration. So, uh, minus 100, 100, 100, and 200, 100. So uh, in velocity is minus 10 and r is minus 50, 50, 55, 100. So uh, let's go to the scale spike size, which is really big. So the first at this zero, uh, zero. So I'm gonna change it to the one uh, at the 0 0.2. And I don't take it. So this is uh, two for me. And the last uh, for me, 10 is better. I also like want to change the spawn rate, so I'm gonna multiply load and a is uh, 150. So and then let's go to the acceleration pulse. I'm gonna change the channel as a Z. Okay, and finally uh, I also uh, have to add a uh, velocity scale load load as a density scale and. Then so, uh, do you remember uh, where we're gonna use this one? Yes, spawn light. I'm gonna put here. And also, we need to add the load. This is a velocity scale. And then, velocity scale is obviously here. Then, I'm gonna add the velocity scale to velocity speed scale. And then, what about this one? Okay, cool. Yeah, almost done. So, I need to make the uh, burst one as well. So I'm gonna uh, duplicate this one and the burst. Burst. So uh, now I'm gonna change to here. 
and the loop behavior is 1, the loop definition is 0.3. Maybe. And uh, let's go back to the uh, pylon map, and I'm gonna uh, duplicate the uh, pylon module. So I'm gonna change the uh, Niagara. So here, Niagara CS system VFX. So I'm gonna uh, select the NS smoke and the piss and uh, the burst. I'm gonna add the burst on as well. Save it. And so uh, before I open the control console, so I'm gonna add the uh, light. Let's add the directional light. Okay. So I'm gonna open the control console and click on the send DMX. Let's do that. Oh, okay. It's a little bit messy, I think. And if you can, if you turn off the mode start and turn off the burst, it work. It's a little bit messy, so you can change it. So just here, minus one, minus one, minus ten, no, minus ten, uh, ten at the Y in the uh, save it. And I'm gonna control console in the DMX. Okay, much better, much better. Wow, that's cool, right? That's so cool. And it's super easy. So I just uh, duplicated uh, this file module, uh, the file module to here. So to make the, my uh, my artwork, so just like I uh, uh, duplicated the uh, pilot module, and also I uh, duplicated the smoke module here, and I just like uh, change the transform, and I also like uh, uh, add the, uh, the default one, and I'm gonna add the asset, uh, this human asset. Uh, I already add the point. Uh, light uh, to like a reflect a red light uh, to the, the human and I also uh, added uh, uh, the, the kind of plane like kind of floor I don't need the directional light uh, to remove it so uh, I can make like this one it's so cool right and as I said it's easier than you think much easier um, and uh, you can change uh, the Niagara asset to customize uh, uh, your uh, own like uh, smoke, fog, uh, fire, uh, DMX. So that's really cool. Okay, uh, I'd like to see your work with the content uh, of this, like uh, what I make. So I hope you guys share it on your Instagram uh, or uh, any uh, social network media. Uh, and then pre uh, don't forget at the tag uh, of me so I can see that. So uh, as I said uh, first, like if you have uh, any requests or feedback, uh, please leave, leave a comment below. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching my tutorial. Uh, next time. Bye.